Hi, I'm John Humphreys, and I'm here with... I'm Major Jake Impelizari. I go by Primo, and I'm Thunderbird 8, the advanced pilot and narrator. Wow, so tell us what it's like to be a United States Thunderbird. It's absolutely incredible, and it's a dream of mine, John. Uh, man, I've been working for this my whole career, uh, and the process is grueling. So it takes about a year uh, in the application process to get on the actual Thunderbirds. Uh, and that's through all the interviews. There's a flight evaluation that you have to go through to get on the team. And I love it. So I grew up in Cincinnati, Ohio. My dad was in the Air Force. He flew C-130s uh, for 10 years and got out the year I was born um, and just retired from Delta. So I've been around aviation my whole life. I remember going to the Dayton Air Show, watching the Thunderbirds perform one year, watching the Blue Angels the next year, all the single ship demo pilots. And I was like, man, I want to do that. Uh, and I love being on the road. I love meeting people like you and being able to showcase the pride, precision, and professionalism of not only the Thunderbirds, but you know the United States Air Force as a whole. Wow, so could you tell me a little bit about why the F-16 is so special? It is, man, but just look at her for one. It's the most, uh, it's the best looking jet in the Air Force, in the world, in my opinion. But, so the F-16 is a full, all-weather, all-capable, multi-role fighter. Um, it's the most proliferated airplane in the world. It's the best looking, like I said, and it's very responsive. So it's a fly-by-wire jet, and what that means is we got a stick over here on the right side uh, that moves only about a quarter of an inch each direction, so it's pressure sensitive. Um, and what that means for us is as we're flying the jet in the demonstration, we get instant feedback on any sort of flight control maneuver uh, that we do. Wow, that's awesome. So how do you like the camaraderie in the Thunderbirds? We're a family and um, we, you know, we work TDY 250 days of the year. I'm TDY with 130 of the finest enlisted members in your United States Air Force, the 12 best officers, and it's just, it's absolutely incredible. Wow. Yeah. What would you say is your favorite move to... Uh... The favorite move in the demo? So I'm the announcer, so my favorite part's the uh, music and narration, right? That's the best part of the whole demo. Without the music and narration, it wouldn't be a demo. It'd just be, you know, a bunch of planes flying around. But my absolute favorite maneuver that they do is at the end, uh, it's the high bomb burst rejoin. Uh, it's kind of the very grand finale closing act of the show. And uh, if you guys stick around today, this afternoon, we're performing at 1600. And then tomorrow and Sunday, we're performing at 1600. So you guys will be able to see uh, an awesome show. Today looks beautiful, right? Absolutely. Not a cloud in the sky, so I think we'll be able to put on a full-up high show. Wow. So for you personally, how do you get yourself into the narrating mood and able to narrate so well? Man, I'm always fired up. I'm fired up, ready to go right now, just talking to you. Um, but the training has been uh, incredible. So we started our training season in November, so just after Thanksgiving. And I worked with uh, Rob Ryder. He's a pretty famous uh, Hall of Famer civilian narrator. Uh, so I worked with him for about a week because um, I'm coming from, you know, the normal Air Force. I've never done anything like this. So he gave me a lot of tips, a lot of pointers. The previous Thunderbird 8, uh, Major Markson, he sat me down and we went through the script a bunch of times. And he just gave me tips and tricks on how to, you know, make it a show, make it a performance and make it enjoyable for everyone. Wow. So how'd you find yourself in this position? On the Thunderbirds? So I started my application process about a year and a half ago. Uh, so what happens is the team sends out a mass email to the entire United States Air Force saying, hey, the Thunderbirds are hiring these positions. And that's when I started my process. So I submitted my package. I got called in for an interview. And then lucky enough, here I am. Uh, traveling around the world, getting to talk to people like you, and getting to showcase uh, our mission, and getting out there for the recruitment, retain, and inspiration of the community. That's amazing. Did yeah. you ever want to be in the military? I did. So I grew up wanting to fly, and you know the best flying in the world is in the military. Honestly, we get to do some pretty awesome things. We get to fly these fast airplanes uh, every day. We fly in the fighter community. We say you got to go upside down at least once, and you know I did today. So I just got done flying, went upside down. It was awesome. What is a tip you could give to a young person out there wanting to become a Thunderbird? You know, you just gotta stay with the grind. You gotta so where you are right now, keep working hard. I'm assuming you wanna you wanna be in this position one day. Absolutely. Yeah, you wanna get your wings. 
So it starts right now, uh, getting out in the community and giving back to something greater than yourselves. Um, and then in school, just keep working hard. So the Air Force harps about grades. So if you can maintain your grades, uh, find a workout program. Being a fighter pilot's rigorous on the body. Uh, so you gotta stay physically fit. I joined uh, ROTC, so I did the ROTC program and uh, at the university, which is a four-year program in the military, and that's how I got my commission. But there's so many different routes you could take, whether that's ROTC, going to the actual Air Force Academy, or uh, doing OTS, so Officer Training School. So you've got, you know, you've got people to reach out with, like us. Uh, you've got local recruiters to reach out if you have any questions. And all I can say is just continue to work hard. Wow, yeah. absolutely. So if you could jump in a time machine right now, Yes. Go back and give your teenager self one piece of advice. What would it be? One piece of advice. Man. Ooh, that's a tough one. I would say uh, start running more. You know, I was a big runner in the, as a kid, and I'm really feeling it now. But I was a soccer player, uh, so I ran a little bit then. But, yeah, it just, you know, stay in the gym. Stay active. You know, get physically fit. What would you say is the hardest part about being a Thunderbird? Hardest part about, you know, we're TDY 250 days out of the year. Um, so if you have a family, that's hard on the family. And they are really the silent heroes of not only the Thunderbirds, but the military. So we're gone a lot. So maintaining a good uh, family balance while also being on the road is pretty challenging. But, you know, it's worth it and it's rewarding for the people we get to meet and uh, the things we get to see on the road. Well, thank you so much. Yes, sir. John, I you. appreciate it. It was awesome talking to you. Uh, I hope you enjoy the show. Thank you. And don't forget to have fun at Sun and Fun.